Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Pushpinder and today in this video we are going to learn about aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compounds. In my previous video I have done the detailed discussion about aromaticity with lot of examples. You can watch my previous video on aromaticity. Now let us compare the aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compounds. Now what are the aromatic compounds? There are some conditions that compound should follow to be aromatic. It should be planar, it should be cyclic, it should have sp2 carbon atoms or the all the pi electrons should spread over the over all the ring system. It should follow 4n plus 2 pi electrons rule. Three, these are the prime conditions for a compound to be aromatic. Now, for a compound uh, which is anti-aromatic, it can be planar, it can be cyclic, all the carbon atoms will be sp2 hybridized and it will follow 4n pi electrons rule. And in case of non-aromatic compounds, the compound may be planar or non-planar. It may be cyclic or acyclic. And it will not follow 4n plus 2 rule and also it may have one of the carbon which is sp3 hybridized. Okay, now in non aromatic compounds, the compound may this follow any of uh, these uh, points. So then we will call that compound as non aromatic. Let us take examples of aromatic compound. Like this compound is aromatic in nature, this is planar, this is cyclic, this is sp2 hybridized and all the carbons are sp2 hybridized and it is also following 4n plus 2 rule because it has 6 pi electrons. In case of anti-aromatic, let us take the example of this compound. This compound is cyclic, this is planar. All the carbons are sp2 hybridized, but it has 4 pi electrons and it is following 4n pi electron formula. Let us take the example of non aromatic compound. This is 1 3 butadiene. This compound is planar, but this is not cyclic. And also this is not following 4n plus 2 rule. So these types of compounds are non-aromatic in nature. Now let us take few compounds and compare that whether these are aromatic, anti-aromatic and non-aromatic. We have lot of examples to discuss over here. Now let me take first compound. This compound is planar. This is cyclic and how many pi electrons it has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 pi electrons. It is following 4n plus 2 rule. And this is conjugated system. So it is following all the conditions of aromaticity. So this compound is aromatic in nature. Now the next compound is, it is planar, it is cyclic, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 pi electrons, it is following 4n uh, pi electrons rule and the 
system is conjugated so this compound will fall under anti aromatic okay now the next compound this compound it is planar this is cyclic it has conjugation not this is not having conjugation actually we can see that it has one of the carbon as sp3 hybridized so one of the condition for the compound to be um aromatic was that all the carbon should be sp2 hybridized but one of the carbon here is sp3 hybridized so this is not following this uh, this condition it is sp3 hybridized and also it has 4 pi electrons so as this compound is not following this uh, condition that all the carbon should be sp2 hybridized so we will call it as non aromatic so now you can see that only the 4 and plus 2 rule will decide that uh, whether the compound is aromatic or anti aromatic if any other of the condition condition is not followed by the compound then we will call it as the non aromatic compound okay now let us take next example 1 3 beta diene this we have already uh, discussed this is uh, non aromatic because this is not cyclic now the next compound is in this case sorry we have two pi electrons over here also in this case it is cyclic this is planar all the electrons are conjugated when we calculate the pi electrons only these four electrons will make the part of the pi system so it has four pi electrons so it should be according to this rule it should be anti aromatic because it is following 4n pi electron formula okay now the next compound is here this compound again is cyclic this is planar conjugated system is there and how many electrons it has it has 2 plus 2 4 4 pi electrons it is also following 4 n pi electron formula so this compound is also anti aromatic clear now the next compound is cyclooctatetraene this compound is not actually the planar non planar conjugated all the carbons are sp2 hybridized and what about the electrons it has 1 2 3 4 8 pi electrons so it is following 4 and pi electron formula but we will not call it as the non aromatic uh, sorry we will not call it as the anti aromatic because it is not uh, following 4 and 4 and plus 2 rule it is actually following 4 and pi electron formula but we can see that it is also not following the another condition that this compound is not planar in nature so we will count this compound as non aromatic 
okay now let us move towards the next example in this compound it is cyclic conjugated and uh, all the carbons are sp2 hybridized how many electrons it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 12 12 pi electrons now this is also following 4n pi electron formula so we will call it as anti aromatic because all the other conditions are followed but only the condition that this is not following 4n plus 2 pi electron rule let us take next example this compound is cyclic this is conjugated all the carbons are not sp hybridized sp2 hybridized one of the carbon this is sp3 hybridized so this is not following this formula this is not following the condition of being sp2 hybridized and how many electrons it has 1 2 3 6 pi electrons it is following 4n plus 2 pi electron but on the basis of this only we can say that this compound is non aromatic now for the next molecule this compound is cyclic this is conjugated or the or you can say that this these two electrons will be uh, rotating over or hold the hold the ring system it has two pi electrons it is also following 4n plus 2 rule and one more thing is that all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so this compound is uh, this compound is following all the conditions of being aromatic so this compound is aromatic in nature now let us take next example it is uh, cyclic this is planar and uh, how many electrons it has 1 2 3 and 4 4 pi electrons so it is following 4n formula and uh, it is uh, conjugated or you can say that all the electrons are spreaded over Uh, all the atoms involved in the ring system so all other conditions are followed only this condition is 4n instead of 4n plus 2 so we will call it as this compound is anti aromatic okay for next compound this we have uh, this n ion this compound is cyclic planar and it has 6 pi electrons so it is following 4n plus 2 formula and also the system is conjugated so we will call this compound as aromatic because all the conditions are being followed by this compound similarly for this compound it is cyclic this is planar and it has four pi electrons because it has 1 2 3 and 4 it has four pi electrons and it is following 4n uh, pi electrons rule and of course this is conjugated also so on the basis of this only because all the other conditions are being followed by this compound only it has for uh, n electrons so we will call this compound as anti aromatic
clear now for the next molecule this compound is uh, cyclic this is planar and uh, the system is conjugated also all the uh, carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized but when we will calculate the pi electron system then we will calculate only these four electrons we will not count the external double bond because these pi electrons are not the part of this ring so it has four pi electrons and um, it is following 4n pi electrons formula so we will call this compound as anti aromatic now this is the last example in this molecule it appears to be aromatic in nature like in case of uh, naphthalene it appears to be like naphthalene that it should be aromatic in nature and also this is cyclic it has 1 2 3 4 5 10 pi electrons it is following 4 and plus 2 rule and the system is conjugated now one interesting thing is that these two hydrogens which is which are present over here these two hydrogens are so close to each other that they repel uh, each other and this uh, this compound is uh, not the planar compound so this is not the planar compound so we can't call this compound as the aromatic compound though it looks like aromatic compound but but because of the non planarity of this compound we uh, can't consider it as the aromatic compounds so on this basis that this compound is not uh, not planar so we will call it as non aromatic okay now another interesting thing is that when the same compound is being substituted by uh, one uh, carbon atom then uh, what happens this compound remains cyclic it has 10 pi electrons which is following 4 and plus 2 rule the system is conjugated all the carbons are sp2 hybridized now this uh, now there is no repulsion between the protons uh, which are present over here because there is not any hydrogen present at these carbon atoms so there is no repulsion that's why this compound becomes planar in nature so now this compound is planar so we can see that this compound is following all the conditions of being aromatic so this compound is aromatic in nature i hope now you are clear with the concept of aromatic anti-aromatic and non-aromatic compounds i hope you like this video for more such videos you can subscribe my channel till then goodbye